Hello everyone and welcome to the order. Today I'll be showing you my PC mods. So this is my PC. Here are the specs and here are the mods. I will go over them one by one. I also included the full PC disassembly and reassembly I did recently. If you're interested you can check them out. When I got this case back in 2008, the side panel plexiglass looked like this. This is the original plexiglass, all scratched and cracked and broken. I called the shipping company and the PC company that sold me these parts, but unfortunately no one would confess to their fault and in the end I wasn't able to do anything. So I got my tools and I repaired the case. Here you can see a snapshot of the new plexiglass. Now this has happened to me before. Somewhere in the video I will include the link to another video where you will see that I was a victim of fraud but I couldn't do anything about it again because Eastern Europe doesn't have any buyer protection laws. But the side panel wasn't the only problem. When I got the case, originally here, instead of these LEDs, there were the front panel audio connectors, microphone and uh, headphone. But they were broken, originally broken, when I got the case brand new. Also, originally these were the original power reset buttons and the hard drive activity LEDs and the power LEDs. But they were broken too, I was majorly ripped off. So what I did was I removed the front panel audio PCB on the inside of the case and I installed brand new LEDs for the power and the hard drive activity. Now also because you can see this switch isn't working at all, I installed a new reset and power switch on the front. One more thing that I modified on this case was the hole in the motherboard tray. Originally the hole was around this big and it didn't allow me access to the cooler's retention plate so I did a small cutout so that I can access the cooling hardware. Now I'm going to explain the RAID mount which I did on my board. Now originally I didn't have the Caviar black hard drive, rather I had two 250GB Seagates. My board is the one on the left, the EP45DS3, but my board unfortunately doesn't support RAID. But I found out that there is another Gigabyte model, the EP45DS3R, which supports RAID. So I figured, what would happen if I flashed the DS3R BIOS on the DS3? And to my surprise the mod worked. I was able to enable RAID on my two Seagate drives, but unfortunately the system wasn't stable so I had to revert back to the original DS3 BIOS and I cannot call this mod a complete success but nevertheless the RAID array worked but the system crashed from time to time. Now another thing that I wanted to improve on this case was the cooling. First I removed three of the five and a quarter inch drive bay covers and I installed this 120 millimeter fan if you can look if you look closely here and here you will see the small brackets that hold the fan in place. I also did a small cutout here and installed another 120 mm top exhaust fan. And finally I installed this 80 mm exhaust fan beneath the GPU. Now I have made a separate video for my HD4850 cooling mod, you can check it out here. And so this concludes my PC mods showcase. If you have any tech related questions feel free to send them in, like, comment and subscribe for more tech videos. This is the Tech Order, signing out.